Hello, welcome back to the Empire of Dirt workshop. Today uh, I've got an Olympus uh, BHT scope. Uh, this is a scope that I recently uh, overhauled. In fact, if you check out the toe tag, you can see it was done uh, just a few days after Christmas. So this thing is uh, pretty good shape, fully overhauled and ready to go, ready to be put back to work. So I'm going to be selling this to somebody. So today, uh, I just got it out to do a final checkup, you know, and just make sure that everything is working, all the optics are good. I wanted to show you a couple of things I do uh, as far as alignment checks on these scopes before I do send them out. Number one is the uh, stage tension. The, 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 the stage goes up and down as you adjust the focusing on this, and it needs to be set up so that the uh, effects of gravity working on the stage don't uh, don't cause the the knob to spin. There's a tension adjustment collar just behind this coarse knob. There's a little ring. Usually you can adjust it by hand. If not, there's a couple holes in there where you can stick a pin in there and adjust it. But if I loosen this up by turning it counterclockwise, you see that guy taking off spinning because gravity is just uh, overwhelming the uh, the inherent tension in the mechanism. Obviously that's not good. So what you do. If you tighten that, you rotate it clockwise, and what you'd like to do, the way I typically do it is I uh, set it up so that just a little more force on here beyond what gravity does either moves it or, better yet, I should, a better way to say that is I should be able to put some additional force on there without going crazy, without causing this to back drive. And so I think that's okay. I mean, if, if, the, uh, if the customer wants it, once it's stiffer than that, they can certainly adjust that. But this is a this is a good place for it to go, to start out with, just to go out the door. The other thing I always check because when I do a full uh, overhaul on this, I take everything apart and put it back together. So inevitably, the uh, the adjustment here. Let me zoom in just a bit so you can see it. Maybe go down a little bit lower. Okay, there, there's an adjustment knob on the back side here that I'm turning, and that adjusts the uh, condenser height up and down. And uh, a couple things I'm noticing. Number one is it doesn't really have quite as much tension as I'd like. It feels a little loose, so I'm going to tighten that up just a touch. Okay, now the way I uh, typically tighten these up, I use this, uh, this deal here. It's got the pins, these pins set just the right distance apart. To go in here and loosen up the lock ring here. I can loosen this lock ring just a little bit, like that. Now, if I reach back, turn that knob up and down, I can adjust this until I get a little more tension out of the mechanism. There, and that's about what I want it to be right there. Once I get that, then I go back and I tighten up the lock ring on the outer around that thing and at that point that uh, adjustment won't won't change so uh, that's good to go and there is one other thing I always check on these because like I say since I had everything apart there's no reason to believe it's correct in fact it's generally not uh, if I raise the uh, tension or I'm sorry raise the uh, position of the focus condenser focus raise the position up so uh, go back out just a little bit so you can see this. Now what I want to do is I want to, I want to I've got a, a glass slide on this stage right now. I want to watch that while I raise this to the top. I'm getting closer and closer. Now, do you see that? Do you see that glass kicking up just a little bit? There it is, laying flat on the stage. And there it is raised up. The reason for that is because the uh, condenser is going a little bit too high. Ideally you would uh, adjust it so that that goes just below the surface of the glass but doesn't quite touch it. And the way to adjust that, like I said, this is uh, no surprise at all here that I have to adjust this because I fully expected that. But the way to adjust that, if we come down here, let me try to adjust this so you can actually see it. I think I'm going to go down a little lower still. Okay, let's see. 
So right in here, so I don't know if I can really see it too well yet. But right in there, if you look carefully, you see there's a little uh, set screw there. Let me make sure you can see, you're looking at the right thing. Right there is the set screw. So, I'll lower the camera just a little bit more, you should be able to see it. Okay, um, adjusted the camera a little bit now, you should be able to see that there's a little set screw right there. And what you do is you uh, basically adjust the condenser until it's at its maximum position. You always, this is important, you always want to make sure this condenser is at its maximum position before you reach in with a, a one and a half millimeter hex tool, Allen tool, whatever you want to call it. Reach in there and loosen up that set screw. Once you've loosened up that set screw then you'll be able to adjust the uh, position a little bit either way and uh, you don't want to go too far with it since that thing's in the loosened position but what I want to do now is I want to lower this down find out where it starts to hit the slide find out where it starts to hit that glass slide and back it up just a little bit so it comes just shy of contacting the slide that basically means we can get the maximum height out of it maximum usable height out of it. And once I get that done, then I go ahead and tighten back that set screw. So now that thing's going to hit a hard stop and it will never go any higher than that. And if I did the job right, I'll let you be the judge of that. If I did the job right, I should be able to go all the way to the top without kicking that slide up and it looks like it's fine so what I'll do on this scope um, I'll basically go through it make sure I can set up color illumination on all the relevant objectives make sure all the optics look good and at that point then I'll tear it down and pack it up for FedEx shipping and it'll go out to the customer um, I guess I'll take this opportunity while I'm doing this just to let the customer take a look at it and see what kind of mechanical condition this is in. And, uh, of course, since this is a BHT scope instead of a TU scope, there's a little thumb screw here that you can loosen up, take out the entire uh, turret nose piece, objectives intact, which is a real handy feature on these scopes. All right, I wanted to come back uh, and explain just a little bit more. Here is a BH2-CH substage assembly off of a BHT, a BHTU scope. And I wanted to use this as an example just to show you that when you're adjusting this, um, this, this little set screw here that's, that uh, sets the uh, maximum height stop on your condenser, I want to show you why you need to be careful when you do that. If I can get this uh, camera just right, Ideally, you would like to be able to see the set screw here and the pin here at the same time, but I'm not sure how possible. Well, I guess that will work right there. Okay, so now, when you adjust it to the top, there's a little uh, silver pin in there, a little chrome pin, I should say. And that, that hits this housing surface here. It hits this casting surface here, I should say. And that sets the uh, maximum height position of your of your condenser. And so the proper way to adjust that is to take this up until that hits, which is to say bring the condenser up to its maximum height. Then take your one and a half millimeter hex Allen tool, put it in there, loosen that set screw just a little bit. Once you've loosened that, that will take the bite off of that chrome pin, that little plunger pin there. It's a little spring-loaded plunger. And now that it's loose, you can see that I can actually raise it higher or lower than it originally was. So if I, let's say I raise it higher, I decide that's the magic point where I want it to be. Then I go back in here, tighten down the set screw, 
and that's my new position. Alternatively, if I decided it needed to be lower, I would take it to the top, loosen this up, lower it down to wherever it needs to be, tighten it back down, and that's a new position. So what's with all the warnings about being careful how you adjust this? Well, let me show you. You're supposed to, as I say, bring it to the max position, loosen this, and then adjust it up or down as necessary, tighten the set screw. Once you have that, that, that will become your new height position. But let's say you just ignore me and you decide to lower it down here, and you want to loosen this set screw. Now when I do this, watch that chrome pin when I do this. Ready? One, two, three it's gone. The spring shut that chrome pin out. Uh, in fact, it fell on the floor here. And so number one, it, it, if you lost it, well then now you, that just ruined your whole day by doing that. Best case, you have to find it, clean it up, and put it back together. So let me retrieve that and we'll put it back together. Okay, I did find the pin. It was laid at my feet. And it's also possible, uh, I don't know if you saw that or not, but that spring shot out quite a ways. It's also possible for the spring to come out and get lost, so you need to make sure you account for both of them. In this case, the spring, let me zoom in for you. In this case, the spring, if you look into this hole, you can see that the spring is still in there. So, what I'd like to do is put this together. If this happened on a scope I had, I would probably just take the whole substage off of the stand. And then... Adjust, it, adjust this knob until you're uh, at the lowest position. And if you do that, then you should be able to carefully drop this metal chrome pin in there. And as you can see, it works against that spring and works properly. What I would then do is probably put it in about halfway or so, snug down this set screw. So that now becomes a position stop, a, a max position stop. It's not the right one, but it's at least at least it's in there and it holds a pin in there. So then, at that point, I could go ahead, take it to its stop, to its top position, loosen this, adjust this as needed, tighten it back up, and I'm good to go. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in.